Well, it's a shame that we have to start now because I kind of wanted to let this uh, song play out. But uh, <clears throat> everyone, welcome back to the stream. Uh, for everyone that's returning from the uh, New Year's celebration or not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many people were actually there on uh, the other night for that one. Uh, tonight, uh, because I've been uh, tagged in some conversation about it on Twitter, I will be working on the Bastard Baroque translation. So this is going to be the ultra simplified, you know, get started and, and get ready to play very fast uh, translation of Baroque. Uh, so this is made possible by... Uh, let me see, where are we? There we go. The uh, nervetower.neocities.org. Let me try to freaking resize this. To... There we go. So uh, the mystery owner of this website uh, allows uh, allows us to use his uh, translations to uh, modify the game. So uh, we're crediting him. Uh, I just linked his website in chat. And I'm still in the middle. Cat is complaining about something. I'm still in the middle of porting in uh, all of the uh, items. I think last time I was working on this, I stopped at the end of boxes and at the start of uh, ampules, basically fluids. Um, so uh, what we'll do is let's do a real quick uh, uh, just run through of, of what's done so far. Uh, and I'll tell you right away that the game is more broken than fixed with my modifications as such. And I'll explain why as we go through it. I'm sorry we had to stop Trick Track. It's a very fun song. Okay, let's go over to my Mendefin and uh, crank up Baroque. Try to grab this and shove this into the right position. On the... yeah, that's good enough. My men defend capture is not working quite the same way because I'm using the GUI. So we have basically the menus done. Um, you know, this kind of stuff. I don't remember if I did this. Did I? Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't do that part yet. Press that start. Okay, fine. I'll press that start button. Jeez. Wait, are you still on the uh, on the beginning of it? Yeah. So because I've remapped uh, the font from its custom encoding to ASCII compatible encoding, uh, things most things are not where they're supposed to be. Uh, and right now I'm just starting with the items. Uh, so more or less, my priority was being able to actually play the game. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to the angel first and you'll see, uh, at least it, it, well, if you don't speak Japanese, he's equally intelligible. Here he's given us the angel rifle. If I go into my options, we have the angel rifle, which is a gun of great force. Uh, I'm not sure why the coat symbol is. Uh, let, let me just check real quick. Um, so the coat symbol is in position three, indexed at zero, but. The angel rifle should be uh, starting with five charges, and usually I think that indicator right there, let me equip it, shoot it once, it's not changing. I'm not sure why the, the coat symbol is there. I might have to shift stuff around to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I drew I drew the fonts manually. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you the, the, the font sheet in my uh, inappropriately named uh, tile editor. There we go. So we have the customized icons for swords, uh, rifle. There's only one rifle in the game. 
wow, that is, uh, let, me, let me turn that volume down a bit. Um, the wings, uh, this is supposed to be a heart. Uh, you can thank Monulus for that one. Flesh, uh, now it's a chicken bone. Uh, the box, oh, oh crap. Oh, whoa. Okay, Angel Rifle is, uh, there we go. Alright, should have paused. Anyway, so, uh, Monulus gave us the heart, there's the flesh, which is now a piece of chicken, there's the box, uh, fluid for the ampules, uh, I believe this is a mark, I forget exactly what it's called, torture device, patterns, uh, bones, uh, grubs or worms or whatever you want to call them, parasites, and crystals. And then the rest of this is just the ASCII set uh, with a few additional symbols uh, tagged onto the bottom. Um, anyway, so because I had to remap everything, uh, it's it's I'm, I've been going in manually to... So it, the symbol is an onk, but what it's called in game is different. Uh, but basically I've been going in manually to replace all these item names. See? Pure Sword, Lucky Sword, I forget what AD... That might be a mistake somewhere, I don't know. And the uh, torture devices haven't been completed yet. Let me see what AD is. So I translated that, but what is AD? Let's, uh, let's go check. Pathetic coat, pelt coat, beast coat, non-flammable coat, insulating coat, grounding coat, stamina coat, vitality coat. AD coat! Oh, it's literally just... What the heck is AD? Uh, thanks, Danthrax. But what the heck is AD? I mean, I, apparently I just took it on faith that that was the name of the coat, but what what is an AD? Assistant Director? Okay, equip. Um, easy crits or purification, which is... Uh, it's really just flavor. It looks like my limit on the text here is 10 characters, so I got it right the first time. And, uh, let's go with easy crits. There we go. There we go. Uh, so I still have to translate the interface. Stubborn box. Okay. So here's the thing, like, uh... Oh. A lot of the healing items and, and stuff that have status effect changes aren't uh, translated yet because I stopped where I stopped. Uh, so what's actually what's missing? Let's list it out. Okay, we have weapons, coats, wings, entrails. Okay, we have the entrails. That's good. That includes uh, hearts and flesh. Uh, boxes. We do not have fluids. Brands. That's, that's the onk symbol is the brand. Attack Defend Coat. Oh, that's... I could probably fit more characters in there. Uh, maybe I'll rename it to Attack Defend Coat. So we don't have... Uh, the Sigils. That's what I was trying to go for. The sigils. The Ankh means Sigil. Uh, torture Devices. Patterns. Uh, bones. The Parasites, which I made uh, a grub. It's so basically anything that says Worm or Grub is going to be replaced by that Worm symbol. And the Crystals. So... That's the, uh, that's the, that's the font, okay, that's the item set. We're missing all this, uh, but we have this, which is a little bit more critical, and then I think after a certain point, once we've seen what's, what's going on, I'm just going to try and implement the rest of this as the evening goes, until people get bored of, of watching me just edit, uh, edit text. Anyway, stubborn box. Open... Invincibility and erase items. But no, I need more than 30 attack to open. So uh, the problem with Bastard Broke is that I'm sticking with the character count in Japanese while translating to English. So uh, you kind of have to learn what the thing means the first time, but then you can still read it and see what's going on. Um, I'm not sure why this says me. That might be a mistake in the translation. I might have to change that to, like, close or something like that. But I think I only have two characters there, so maybe I need to change it to something else. 
CEO would probably do the job. Now the problem with all the character remap is that uh, mo I've, I've, in the font sheet that I've created, it's pretty much all blank. So any of the uh, Chinese style characters are probably going to end up being invisible. Idiot flesh. Okay, I don't like the coloration here. I'm going to have to change that in a second. Oh! So, um, we have the music box, which uh, loses hit points unless you have less than one-third of your hit points left, which is a very mean way of setting up an item. Uh, especially if you can't read Japanese. Uh, it takes 30 attack to open this guy, and I have 16. Alright, let's keep going. Let me finish this floor out, and then we'll, we'll keep translating stuff and see. If I can find that where I put me, I will replace that with, like, clothes or something. And there is another thing where, uh, here, I just got a torture to- let me kill some things first. Oh. Kill you. Okay, so he's speaking, I haven't translated his dialogue. Um, so there weren't any palette codes that I could see in the items, and uh, until we learn how to change uh, the memory location of each uh, call, it, it might be difficult to do something like that. Um, but uh, I did see some... I, I think we found some flag. Oh, uh, hi, Cremata. Welcome to the stream. Uh, anyway, well, I was saying, I did see some flag, which... Uh, your 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 translator uh, program caught, which looks like it's there to modify text. Uh, and I think it's like it's probably a, a color changing thing. It's probably a palette swap, because then you can turn it red or something. And I'm sure if I go far enough in the game, some character will look red when it normally wouldn't. Uh, Idiot flesh gives you plus thirty hit points, max hit hit. Okay, if you have full hit points. Which I do, it gives you plus 8 maximum. So let's uh, eat, or we can drop, and I think this is supposed to be put. So let me eat. There we go, HP max up. Seed. And uh, I have some invisible items there. If vitality is max, plus 10. Uh, otherwise, plus 30. Let me try to drop this, and this throws it. Alright, now, if I wanted to put this, what does this do? Oh wow! I translated it right the first. Time. <laughs> that, I got lucky on that one. So I, I need to change drop to throw, I think. And uh, let's let's see how many. Here, throw, T H R, fits in there. Let's let's do that. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be in bp.msb. So let's go into the hex editor. Yeah. And uh, turn the music back up. So, uh, uh, oh, this is the wrong folder. Here. Uh, tile molester. He's a molester. He's a tile molester. Okay, let's go BP. Oh, crap, you know what? I forgot to go into my own voice chat. If you guys want to join voice chat and, like, dick around, uh, I'll be in my Emerald Nova Discord under the stream section if you just want to get on voice. I think... Oh, I forgot to invite uh, Trekkies. Uh, let me invite Trekkies. Because uh, I know I invited him earlier. He said, hey, maybe. And I'll take maybe as a yes. 
There we go. Well, if he wants to join, he'll join. Uh, so let's look for the text for drop. So DRP. It's not in BP. Is it an item? It's not in... So where else could it be? Uh, item AP. No, 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 no. I'm doing something wrong. It, it, it has to exist within one of these two. I don't think I modified a baby message yet. Right, let's let's do a quick check. Oh, search direction all. That's probably the problem. So it's not in BP, but it's probably an item. There we go. So we have uh, drop, put, give. Uh, let me replace drop with throw. Uh, the FF the FF there is a is a line terminator, so I'm basically stuck with those three characters. And occasionally I will find a zero zero prefacing a line, usually one that had a uh, a two byte or two. Wait, how big is how big is one of these? Yeah, it's a byte. I so sometimes there are two byte characters because uh, Japanese. And uh, a lot of times with these two byte characters, they need to be prefaced with a zero zero. I don't know why, but that's what ended up happening, and this shows up at the right location if I have that zero, zero space ahead of it, so that's not available for me to write into. The dates. What do you mean the dates say 98? I don't understand. What, what you want about? Oh, oh, on the, um, on the emulator? Oh, okay, okay, on the, on the files. Yes, I have not edited these two yet, so they're still in their original, uh, 1998 contents. Gotta open up another one of my caffeine-acidic beverages here to keep myself awake. So yeah, I only ever touched, uh, BP font and, uh, item. And you guys have already seen item and tile molester. Uh, for some reason I can't understand, there is this character here, uh, for the coat, when the angel rifle comes up, and I might end up having to just move this entire row down by one, just to leave this guy blank, so the angel rifle doesn't have that weird symbol next to it. But but it's not though. At least uh, here, let me let me open up um, unpatched files. No, unpatched files. Aren't thou? Fine. There we go. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's fix this. Two, two, two. That's what I hate about these Java applications is that the interface is always just slightly off, and enough to to annoy me. There we go. And uh, the codec is uh, two bits per pixel linear okay so yeah the third character is whatever the heck this thing is so that is what's showing up there um so yeah this guy here let me uh block grid tile grid and uh let's see 400 zoom and the canvas size we want uh, 32, which is 16 times 2, because they're doubled up. Oh, crap. Undo, undo, undo. Mm. Okay, I accidentally erased it because I had it highlighted while I was rearranging stuff. So let us, uh, reload it. Ah, crap. Jeez, this... This is an annoying freaking... No, don't save changes. Anyway, so I want I want it I want it on record what I'm talking about here.
There we go. Uh, uh. There we go. So, uh, zero, one, two, three. This boyo over here is in the same location, this guy, as, um, the coat. Right over near. Wait, does this guy have a different, uh, zoom level? Slightly. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, for some reason, Angel Rifle has a symbol next to it, and I think what I need to do is I'm going to take this entire row, shift it down by one, and do a find replace on uh, everything that I've labeled with these symbols. There we go. And this is like a really overkill fix for what is simply just one extra symbol that annoys me. But I'm going to do this and then uh, go over to uh, the hex editor and control H. Come on, control H. Uh, freaking control F. There we go. Uh, how do I do replace though? Replace. Control R. Okay. So I'm going to look for hex value 1. And replace it with uh, 11 because I just shifted it by 16 now will this break something almost certainly and as I say that out loud um, here There we go. Now I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> Do that. Ayo. 69. That seems like a lot. Because there's only... How many? Not enough to, to do that. Okay, some of these are going to be, uh, in the untranslated parts, uh, two-byte uh, characters that are going to get replaced anyway, so that's fine. But earlier on, where are all the swords at? There we go. Here's here's where the swords are at. Okay, I just replaced throw. Sword, 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 sword. It looks like it didn't break anything I already fixed. So the swords end here at the triple sword. Or there's a fire, fire, ice, and lightning. Uh, lightning. Oh, that's the description. Then after this is the angel gun. And the angel gun is going to be uh, not 2, but hex 12. Seriously? Uh, does it sound wrong? Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? I didn't touch anything. Hmm. Whoa, stop that. Why, why is this freaking out on me? Here, let's save this before it breaks anymore. Um, okay, so what else do we need? Let's let's do a find replace. Um, just do it for everything. From 03 to 13. Um, how many do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14. Okay. Would you stop? Okay, you know what? Uh, let's let's just restart. Yeah, okay. And uh, let's assume that this didn't break anything. I don't know why HXD is giving me so much crap. Okay. Um, X value replace in all directions. 04 to 14. Go. 05 to 15. 
And I believe I'm going up to D, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, no, that's F. E. I'm going up to E. All right. No, oh, I mean that's that sounds like something I need to fix at some point. Spilled a little bit of cola on myself. That's not good. Okay, uh, we just did 14, so... No, we just did 15? Can't find... Okay, that's good enough. Uh, 6 to 16? Oh boy, there's a lot of that there. Um, 7 to 17? No. 8 to 18... Nine to nineteen, and then A to eighteen, B to B teen, C to C teen, D to D teen. And finally, E to E teen. There we go. Save, and then let's go over to my CD Mage over Nya and replace item with item and font. We need font dot bin. Where are you? There you go. No. Because I also shifted. Wait, did I save the. Uh... Yeah, I got it. Looks like it's been saved. Alright, let's assume it's saved, right? Okay, it's saved. Um, font that bin. Font for it successfully. Okay. Now let's overwrite my single bin. Give it a minute. Okay, let me let me double check my uh, GeForce experience thing or something. Maybe it's trying to do something stupid in the background. There's a game ready driver update that I will not download now. And let's uh, close out of this for a second. And this guy maybe reduce the potency of that noise cancellation. And uh, let's get back to it. Where is Bednafe? You know, it could be that there's just this giant uh, farming, you know, crypto farming botnet that's infected everyone's computers and it's just interrupting GPU based stuff ever so slightly. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Okay, so I named that Angel Crypt, and I don't think that's correct. Uh, so make note of that. We got to change that. Just uh, real quick, let's look at uh, Nerve Tower. Um, who is Crypt? Wait, not this part. This part. So this guy should be named Archangel or something to the effect, and Crypt. Uh, maybe Coffin Man or. Let's sack. One of these guys is, is close enough to Crypt that I called him Crypt. Oh, Crypt Angel. So, um, I may be confused Archangel with Crypt Angel, which I guess is understandable considering the Japanese involved. So I just need to swap those two guys around. Hey, 
Anyway, let's uh, let's go see if I fix the thing that I said was. Oh, this is already open. Um, it's still there. I did that for nothing. Okay, so no, here. Um, there is going to be a character code now one three. Uh, that for some reason is going to get written onto the angel. So that we, I think that's what I've just confirmed here. Is uh, is that's what's happening? So the fact that I did find a place for everything uh, means that it's it's there somewhere. In fact, let's let's do a quick search right now because uh, that's thirteen, right? One three in hex values. I said find all. That means search all. Why aren't I getting? Why am I getting zero hits? I should be seeing a bunch of hits down here. Um, I mean, I could, but the comparison's gonna be... It says all. Okay, forward. Okay, um... Oh, wait, start with me, forward. That, uh... I, I just wanted to populate this area here. That can't be it. Uh, there's no way that's it. It doesn't make any sense for that to be it. So, um... I hit search all, and it got me here. And it's not the only one, because there's another one over here. So this is the character code for um, coats, and this is bitten coat. And before it is, uh, oh, there's got to be another one. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It it can't it can't even find thirteen anymore. I I think I broke HXD. Do I need to re-download this thing? How did that even happen? Yeah, I clicked the top. Control F, thirteen. Search all or search for it. I don't think it matters. Reboot. Freaking crap. This piece of crap is broken. Let me see. Can I update? Find updates. There we go. Let's let's download an update. That's that's the best refresh you can do. Uh, let's not download it from China. Okay. Oh, I hate that Windows does that now. I'm not even sure if there's a way to turn it off without, like, making my computer incredibly unsafe. So, what are we trying to look for in the in the original? Uh, just, just an O3? Because the compare is not going to tell us anything useful. I don't know what you're looking for with the compare. Okay, so here is, um, this is the new HXD. I made several changes. Uh, the, the list of changes is, is not the, the issue. It's the fact that uh, I'm looking for all instances of 13, and I need to see where one of them doesn't make any sense. There we go. So we see this this uh, this list populated down here. Let me uh, let me try to squeeze this. Oh, okay. There. And I'll uh, give myself a little bit more room right here. But anyway, here's all the places where uh, a 13 shows up, and most of these are going to be just talking about coats. So this is let's see, bitten coat. This is just coat the character. Flimsy coat, uh, basic coat, pelt coat. I see what's with bit. Bitten 
Why did I write Bitten here? I did this for a reason. Bitten, and then the character code for coat, and then it ends. Okay, look, uh, fine. Uh, let, let me go find uh, the comparison tool or whatever. Um, I, I honestly don't know what you're looking for for the comparison. Just, uh, let me see. One of these things to compare, right? Data comparison. Compare uh, with the unmodified, unpatched uh, items that MSB. Okay, so, um... Oh, crap. I don't even remember which one is which now. Fine. Angel? There. There's Angel. Angel, and then the character code for rifle, and that's gotta be at 960. Starting it out for. Oh, 04 to 09. So these are the two um, angel rifle instances. The one on the right is the original, the one on the left is my modification. Now, in my modification, uh, F8 is a is a starter character, I believe. Um, here, let's let's go over to uh, the notes I have. Not that one. This one. Character table. There we go. So F8, uh, F8 is is a trigger for a two byte character. In this case, uh, this is F82D, and then F809, and then F847. So F82D. Let me uh, open up the, 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 the Google Translate for our basic uh, dumb translation. And then uh, F809. Thinks it's Chinese. <laughs> um, I mean, it'll probably still come up with an accurate translation. We'll stop to it. 47. Uh, 47 is not in this character list. Uh, who's that? Someone just did a thing. I don't know who, but someone. Uh, oh, poor pup. Oh! Pop, you're here. Welcome to the stream. Oh, F8. Why is this out of order? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, anyway, it thinks it's Chinese. And in Chinese, it says Angel Gun. Oh, no, now it thinks it's Japanese. Okay, good. Because... <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward translation. But it's only three characters in that spot. And there's nothing in there for the insertion of the, the coat symbol. So somewhere in my altered file is the number 13, formerly the number 3, that is inserting itself outside of the context of naming the angel rifle. And I get the feeling as I fill in the rest of these items and I eventually get to the end, it will uh, explain what's going on. No, it doesn't. It's not that. I tr no, here, I'll show you. So, you see how Angel Gun, uh, Angel, Rifle Symbol, Coat Symbol, let's equip it, alright, and then, uh, shoot it. I only have four shots left. Still Coat. Three shots. Two shots. One shot. Empty. Out. Still Coat. 
Thanks, Bob. Uh, for the record, this is your fault, Bob. Uh, you called me... Well, you didn't call me out, but uh, Trainoko called me out on your behalf. So I blame you. You know, that's a good question. Let's go find out. It probably actually says that, that ooh symbol. Or however you... What, Danthrax? What did you say it sounds like? The ooh sound? All right. Um, let's uh, let's add the folder. So uh, where's the unpatched? Huh. Oh boy, that uh, screen part is bobbing. There we go. I really wish that my capture didn't break when I uh, added Menafe. So if it's that ooh symbol that we like we found in Tile Molester, let's let's remind ourselves with that. Oh crap, it's gone, isn't it? No, there there it is. This thing. We're looking for this thing. If that thing appears next to it, then it's because of that character code showing up somewhere where I'm not expecting it. And if not, then some weird random crap is happening. But it is tracking the character code for um whatever. Uh, here, let's just do it. We're looking for this. But it's tracking that character code, so when I swap the character code from 3 to 13, uh, it followed it. So it's definitely that character code happening somewhere. And it's happening inside of items, because that's where I replaced it. Wait, did someone, uh, is that my phone, or is that someone on stream? Oh, Shelter Mix, thanks for the follow. Why is OBS not telling me these things? I'm so confused. So let's go find the, uh, the angel gun. Angel rifle, whatever, I don't know. Yeah, 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 okay. All right. Now it's... Mm. Okay. It says five next to it. How and why? Because I changed the location of five, and it's not index three or 13. It is ASCII. This is so irritating. So, uh... Here, let's 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 figure out. Let's, okay, so here's offset uh, zero one two three four five. Wait, wait, zero one two three four five six seven eight nine a a zero one two three four five six seven. So a seven is being drawn here, and when I shoot the thing, it'll get altered to a six. What is dot and B0? What the heck is B0? Oh, yeah. Uh, th thanks for the, uh, I guess, chat engagement shelter mix. I have a dot. Yes, I have a dot. And I bet you that the game is adding the dot separately from somewhere else. And there might be, like, a list of things. But it is grabbing a character code and following that 13 around. So something weird is happening. And maybe it's an overflow issue or something. Maybe I need to restrict the angel rifle thing down to like three characters. So A-N rifle character um, FF for a termination. But that four is following the thing around and the four is in a different location. Um, So let's let's try let's try this. Let's go over. Forget this for right now. Let's go find. Where's that angel? Angel gun? No, okay. Angel. Here's angel rifle, right? So let's change that to A N, and then um, gun is or rifle is twelve. Terminate zero 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 zero, and then. But here's the thing, it's also tracking the number 5, and the number 5 uh, is, uh, let me see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, A0, A1, A2. So numbers start at A2. Now, for maximum compatibility, let's copy this over. 
and we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A. Uh, not crap. Why does it do that? A2. Uh, let me let me just double check my counting. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A. 0, 1, 2. Okay, so this hopefully will track with the original set of numbers so I don't have to reprogram any of that crap. Uh, and I have the dot. Uh, I mean, really screw the dot, but where is the dot? The dot is at uh, B0. Oh, that's what you meant. Freaking... No, you use more words. But do I want a dot or do I want an X? I think I prefer an X. People know what X means. B0. There we go. Um, minimize that. Expand this out. Save. And uh, let's reinsert and CD Mage. So, um, oh, oh, wait, wait, did I already? Yeah, I did the replacement here. I saved it. So we need to do two replacements. Let's replace font. Right, and then uh, the MSB for item. And single bin. Give that a second. There we go, okay, let's try it again. Come on. Uh, what do you mean importing? To, uh, so the thing is, is uh, the emulators like it when I'm not mounting a disk image, and CD Mage kind of does that. So uh, I just use a separate disk image to save over in order to save any conflicts from having to unmount CD Mage, and so I can just keep CD Mage active. It's uh, it's easier. Now, if the things that I did actually work, I'm gonna be upset because I can't find where the hard coding is for it. But whatever. No, I'm not using Daemon tools. It's literally just CD Mage occupying the file. Uh, I'm not, I'm not actually mounting any disk images. But CD Mage is occupying the file, and whenever I ask your boss, or yep, 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 you know what I mean. Still there! Ah! It's still there. Did I... Hmm. Um... The dot is... Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, let's, let's go back right to the unpatched item dot msb or whatever uh unpatch e10 and uh angel rifle was at like 960 or something like that uh too far too far too far i think it was like 964 through 9 there is no B0 here, but let us go look for it. Something smells. Uh, I bet the cat went to do his business. Oh boy. 
That is a lot of B-Zeros. It could be literally any one of these things, except for the fact that I know a certain range of places is just supposed to be items. Some of these are like character names. Like, uh, actually, let's let's fix that. Remember when I said crypt was not crypt? Let's go ahead and fix that, and then we'll also have like an indication of what's going on. So this, the entire first three or four rows or so, maybe up till here. Uh, is complete nonsense for them. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no, I already fixed all this. Okay, so it's not on the, any of these. Are... Let's see. Because I, I want to fix Crypt now that I'm here and I remember. Well, text, stream, Crypt. So Crypt is actually... Um, Angel, work A, and then uh, work. Can't remove. Neck boy, neck, horny girl, illusion, stree. Okay, well, that's got to be what that is. But anyway, um, like, this has all been straight translated, and there's not a lot of room left for just random bits of punctuation like dot what do you mean a rifle in the shirt please So, uh, Knight, I'm going to need you to explain what you mean by that. For Okay, so for Angel Gun at 960, it's A-N, gun symbol, terminate. Uh, maybe the terminate's not the right, right thing to do here? Zero. Okay, so you want sword instead of gun? I'm not sure what this is meant to accomplish because these symbols were added by me. This is not uh, this is not in the original game. Those symbols. They they don't they don't use the symbols, they use words. But uh Sword rifle and not sword gun. Oh, you think it's it's flowing over to the next symbol? Okay, I I understand what you're getting at. Um, let's. Okay, did I already save this? Let's. Um. Uh... That's remap. Items. Overwrite, single bin, yes, replace, and we wait for a couple more seconds, and it is done. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're expecting to see sword rifle because that's just the order of the characters. Which means it's doing something weird when it goes to that specific character. But it was doing that behavior when the character was in two different spots, so it's not about the character index. Especially since those indices both have single character Japanese. Hey, I fixed him. 
Still sword coat. It's not rifle coat anymore, it's sword coat. Coat is still there. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm I'm going back to my original hypothesis. Um here, let me let me turn the music back on. Um so my original hypothesis of Okay, we have uh Angel Gun or rifle, and there is going to be some character code after all these coats. So, where, where do I stop translating? Somewhere around here, right? May explode. That is the last box that I translate, and then the next item starts here. From here on to the bottom, instead of. Um, I don't know what you want, cat, but you're not getting it right now. Anyway, so I'm going to search for 13, symbol for coat. I'm going to replace it with 00, zero and I'm going to search in the forward direction. So here's one, gone. Uh, maybe, maybe I should place all. So here's another one, gone, gone. Wow, there's a lot of these. And the, these aren't combinations either. 1C is not uh, an initiator. That's that's its own character. Well, F8 is an initiator there. Um, oh, boy. You know what? Screw it. 99 occurrences. I bet you one of those <laughs> was the right one. Let's close out of this so I don't screw it up. Ninety-nine plus like the handful that I already did, so more than that. It's not plus one. It's just thirteen. It's just where some something thirteen, and now I've replaced all the thirteens after the por portions I've already verified with zero. So hopefully one of them was it. <laughs> this is dumb. There you go. Mm, give it a second. It's just looking for some random character. And I bet you if I if I start looking for stuff... Well, I mean, it's too late now. But if I look in the original for some character code... Uh, that's, like, squeezed between... Uh, what should I call it? Two Terminators FF? Uh, I'd probably find out where it was. And the other thing is, it's it's attached to a number, which is probably controlled by some sort of two-character or two-byte control symbol. Because there are there are still unidentified uh, control symbols in this set. So that might be like a uh, right uh, number stored in this location as font here. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Come on, let's go. Yank, yank, blah, blah, dribble, dribble, dribble. There we go. Still go! Okay. So, there are a very limited number of explanations for what's going on here, considering that I've altered only two of the four text-containing files. And this is not original behavior. Uh, and if I search for... Um, here, let me turn the music back on, because we're going to be here for a minute. If I search for... Uh, where's, where's another... Where's the unpatched... Patch file. Patch remap. Uh... I also edited BP, which is basically just, it should just be like menu stuff, All right? If I search BP for uh, hex value 13, it shows up once in this list. And this list is the uh, name entry selection screen. So it's not grabbing it from here. It's not grabbing it from here. 
And uh, and the only place Rice after that I've edited after uh, switching coat from three to thirteen is item.msb. And everything that's come after where I finished my translation has been zeroed out. So it literally makes no sense. And the last res uh, resort for the explanation is the fact that in the original game, we have six bytes to describe three co uh, characters, each of them two byte characters. And here I have three single byte characters and a terminator and zero 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 now if i were to do this would that make things better probably not because i would still have all all the character space i had before angel rifle that's six characters and it would write them out but then at the end of it it would still add the coat because that's what it did last time because before I had explicitly angel rifle. That's what I had before. Except this end was a uh, end. Okay. So the thing about dumping low work RAM is that I'm gonna have to go in Yaba to do it, and Yaba makes this game sound like literal hell. So let me uh, get on do these things. What are we looking for in low-work RAM when I do that, anyway? I mean, uh... What? Oh, okay, well, we're doing Minifin. I will not complain about using Medifin. Uh, do you remember the, uh, the shortcut for looking at RAM in Medifin? Because I don't. Or, is there, or I, it's going to be like a dump and I just have to like grab a dump file. Alt D. And that's just going to be a full RAM dump. All right. So uh, we're going to do that after I open the menu up, after I retrieve the rifle, correct? I mean, tell me now while well, uh, we still have the chance. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, thank you for the gun. All right, opening the menu. Uh, Alt D and three. Uh, I don't know that three did anything. Uh, the start address of low work RAM, I believe, was like two something something something. Unless I. Uh, Alt I appear to be uh, looking at the uh, assembly commands. This, these look, this, this is assembly. Uh, Alt-3, okay, well, uh, let me get out of here. Alt-3. Uh, Alt-3 doesn't do anything visually, but let's uh, search Mendefen for a dump file. Um... STD out, is this it? Uh, that does not seem to be it. Error, no errors. Okay, these are just log files. No. Alt D, then. Okay, so now I'm gonna need you to post that in one second. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll wait for you, but uh, yeah, we can always just ask the trusty old Googles. Mednafen dump memory. Yeah, I can I can learn how to spell at some point. Not tonight, but eventually. Ooh ah. Okay. Graphic memory editor, Alt 3. So uh here we are. Alt 3. Nothing is happening. Ah. What is Alt D? Master debugger view toggle. Maybe it's Alt D and then Alt 3, but oh, there we go. Alt D, Alt 3. So uh, let's look for. I forget. Low work RAM is supposed to be the. Uh, starts with 2, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, I just. Can you hear me? Oh, hey! 
Sup, Knight? Alright, let me load up uh, your Twitch. Okay, so I, I think we found it. It's Alt-D and then Alt-3, which for some reason it didn't trigger before, and I'm scrolling down slowly to... Wait, so you're in the memory right now? E it looks like it. Uh, then I'm hit... Uh, the greater than key, I want to say. Uh, shift... I mean, I wish Truckers was here. He uses Metafin more than I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, so there's High Work Ram. Uh, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Mr. Kotfew, you weren't following you for? Shame. Press G. Go to... Yeah, you uh, want low work, Ram. Uh, was that 200000? Nope. You're in SC, SP Ram right now. And back up. VDP1. VDP2. Bus. Low! Oh, there we go. No, we're here. We're here. We're here. Um... So what does Angel look like? Angel in ASCII was what? Uh, 960. Without modifications, it was 416E12. But that that didn't that would not correspond with anything really. What are we looking for? Because the ASCII is going to get printed as a. We are looking to see where we could break the application, yeah. like place a breakpoint. Uh, okay. Actually, we get we have um, character codes on the right, so maybe I can find something that's uh, useful there. There's got to be a way of dumping this in a file, so I don't have to do this in emulator. I want to say now you press the D key. D. Memory. Uh, what work RAM? What? No, no, no. You gotta type in zero, zero, two. No, this one is just short, so you just five zeros and then five Fs. Five zeros, space, five Fs, space, and then file name. Ah, okay, I see what's going on here. And then, presumably, hey, uh, there it is. I probably should have said .txt, but whatever. Oh, okay. Um, let's do that in the hex editor. All right. Now we are browsing low work RAM like a champ. Um, let's, let's copy over this and see if it even shows up. It probably won't, but... Well, what do you know? Right here. At offset uh, 1C964, or 01C964. But it is exactly the, um, the stuff that I put in uh, down to the, to the individual tornado characters. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Mr. Cod will know. Do you know if we could break point on memory reads in Mednafen, or do we have to go to Yabaus or Yaba Use? Here, l let's just let's just mute it and go to Yaba because you're more familiar with that. Or right. I guess Mr. Cod, you can tell us how. So we want a uh, hex address. Uh, X one C nine six four. Let me write that down. O X one C nine six four. We want to break there. Low work RAM. Low work. Because that's where we found this text. It's just so weird. Like if you look in low work RAM, it looks like it loaded the entire item dot MSB. It will do that. Yes. Actually, all the files should be in there, or at least three of them. Uh, there's no way. Uh, so so here, here's the thing. If you look at the actual uh, the size of the files, um, so all messages... Oh, actually, no, it could. What do you know? Okay, I guess the, the entire text of the game can fit into low work RAM if you wanted to. Um, I believe on write uh, for low work RAM... Alt D. All right. Yes, we want on read. We want to be on reading the angel. 
All right, all right, okay. But are we reading it from that location in Lower Graham? Yes. yes. All right. So we're already at Alt D. We we've opened this thing. Um, go to uh, one C nine six four. So we probably need to be back on the CPU mode. So you want to hit uh, Alt one. Oh boy. All right, so we're back to CPU debugger. I can't even read this; it's so tiny. I don't know about you guys. Apparently, some versions of uh, McNaffe can change that, but I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so how do I do that? G. Disassembly address. Um, one C nine six four. That's no, no. You want zero zero two zero 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 zero. I believe he's asking for, or maybe zero zero two that. Okay. Two o two one. C nine six four. Um, my God, I can't read a thing here. Do we see what we're looking for? <laughs> so, does he just press space here to put the uh, star on? So, okay, what? I'm waiting for him to respond. Oh, okay. So, I think it went to the instruction address as opposed to lower gram. No, we're at the right location. This is it? Yeah, we're looking at data, but the game thinks it's assembly. Or the, uh, the emulator thinks it's assembly. Huh. So you want to hit shift return. Oh, okay, so look at that. What? I didn't know about the setting. You all put in the address we're at right now. You know, Mr. Coffee, you could always, like, join us in chat on the Emerald Nova Discord. So, I want to I want to watch this address in Lower Graham, I assume. Yep. Okay, so we're watching it. Now what? Alright, so we, we want to get out of the debugger. So, Alt D again. I mean, we can just keep it open. Like, I can... I don't think anything's changed. So, is it always in memory? Here, let me... Well, here's the thing. The, um, the text that we were looking at that I found... That is just a list of everything inside of item.msp. I think that's always in memory. Yeah, but it should be pulling this to print it to this location. Yeah, but it's. I think it's going somewhere else for that because the the locate the only location I found was uh, in, embedded in a list of everything in that list, and not what's in my inventory. Unless okay, so you're saying it should have looked. It should have looked up this thing to right. print it. Right. Uh, and I mean that that oh, wait, would make sense. What does Shift plus R do? Or Shift R. Read breakpoints. Oh, we gotta restart the game. Uh, Shift R says read breakpoints, but I thought restart was like tab or something. Oh, I see. Maybe he's saying use shift plus R instead of the shift plus return. Okay, so 2021 C964. We want to add that read breakpoint, right? Yeah. yeah. Enter. Okay. Here, let me try dropping this thing. There's no break. 
zero zero two one C nine six four. Okay. Yeah, it could be in cash. Uh, okay. mm. Hey, it broke. Okay. I mean, I can't read a freeing thing, but it it, it the breakpoint triggered. All so right, how do so I step? Is... What? So that was that safe. Was now we gotta now step. step. Yeah. Um, is it the N key? I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's shift period uh, for greater than, because it seems to be the directional thing. Or I could no, be it's, N. It's either N or S. N or S. S. Okay. Step. Okay. That checks out. Uh. Step. Step. All right. So R one contains forty one. Forty one is uh that the first a. character. Yeah, A. So we're looking forty one six E one two. We're looking for thirteen. Right. Uh, where are you seeing the R? Okay, R one is up here. R two is over here. So R two is F E. That's the next character, right? Am I going crazy? No, 6E. What the heck is... FE is new line. Why is... It's, uh, it's probably checking for this code. It's probably saying, are you FE? If not, branch. Then it'll do the next code and next code. Oh, so okay. It's checking if we're an FE code. All right. So step. Step. Uh... R0 is 4. I don't think 4 means anything for us. Step. R0 is now something ridiculous. It's going to a uh, new a subroutine. Okay, okay, so it's... Uh, R12 and R4. Move R4 into R12 or the other way around, I forget. So it's R4... Moving R12 into R4, yes. Yeah. R12 is 0, R4 is 0, so it's doing nothing. Uh, move R8 into... What is that? Yeah, pointer? So, yeah, we're loading to the stack right now. We're pushing 8, 9, 14, and the reg uh, return register to the stack. Okay. And same thing there. Uh, 14. Okay, these are all the same command. Move 15 into 14, and these are just different uh, locations for commands. It's our stack, yeah. yeah. R14 yeah. is our local stack, where R15 is our normal stack address right now. Okay. This is all going to be very itchy. I'll turn on the music a little bit for the sake of the stream, but this is probably going to be the most exposure most of my viewers are going to get to reverse engineering. Uh, let's see. X. What's X2? Anyway, it's doing something between R4, which is 0, and R5, which is 19. What is 19? Yeah, what, what that's doing is it's turning it unsigned and then moving it to R5 as well. Turning what? It's turning R4 into an yeah. unsigned word and moving okay. it into R5. Yeah, but R, R5 as in... Okay, so but R5 is uh, currently 19. Right, so, now so it's, it's zero. Become 0. Yep. All right. And uh, do, moving some sort of calculation into R7 or whatever the heck that is. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're fetching some kind of, uh, looks like an address. Yeah. R3 is 201. Uh, I have no idea what that can be. And then R3 to R1. Uh, 41. So are we finally uh, finding the next character? R2. FE. FE. Uh, no, that's um, that's the new line. Okay, R1, R1. So it's converting R1, to, I guess, to unsigned. Is that what that is? Right. Or, okay. And then uh, compare R2 to R1. FD. I need to remember what the next character is supposed to be. 6E. So FD is something else. Uh, some sort of memory address. Uh, move. 
whatever number zero means into R4, which is zero. Oh, okay, now we skipped a bit. Uh, R7 to R6. R6 is three. R7 is some sort of uh, stack location. R6 to R6. Uh, the value of R6 into R6 or something, I don't know. I, I don't know how to read assembly. I think I'm I'm doing my best guess at interpreting what this is. All right, what are you asking? Sorry, I'm talking to Peter also over here. Oh yeah, yeah that's cool. I'm just I'm just trying to find uh, a place where I'm gonna find the six E, and it's it's taken a it's taken a bit. Is six E the next character? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably going to uh, go through each character. So what we want to do instead is run this again so hit a uh, r so that it runs instead of skips like this uh, i'm hitting r and all right now hit... wait oh it reads it multiple times shit what when you hit r it's reading in two different locations so which one do we want Okay, finally, we've hit this thing. Uh, I think instead, what we should be doing is uh, looking for the value of 13. Is that something we can do with a, uh, with a breakpoint for when the value of 13 gets written somewhere? That I have no idea. You can't do that in your battles. I don't know. I doubt you could do that in here. Compare what's actually coming in. Well, um... We don't even know what register is going to go in. Probably R1, but... Uh. Alright, so you said FE's new line? Yes. Okay, so where we're at right now is check if a new line exists. So press space right here, the space bar. I don't think space bar does anything. Oh, wait, wait. It should. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, that sets oh, break point. Alright, so now hit R. Uh, hit R again. Okay, yeah. just, just do it once. Oh, sorry. Whoops. We should be back at the breakpoint again. I mean, it looks like we are. So if I hit R, nothing happens. I hit R again, nothing happens. Oh, okay. I know why. We're one step to where we want to be. So go hit S. You want a breakpoint here. And then our R1 value should be what we need. So what was 4D again? Uh, what was what? 4D. 4D is... Uh, crap. It's not anything I, I recall. So 4D, uh, what's A plus... Uh, oh, what the hell is this game doing? So we're not even here. So it's, it's, it's got to be with some capital letter. Uh, let me count. Like B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. It's M. It's looking for M. Capital M. In ASCII. So we're way down there on the knee? Oh, you know what? That makes perfect amount of sense. That means the next time we break, it should look for lowercase e. Uh, here, let me just pull up the ASCII table. I think that'll be a oh, better use of my time. ASCII characters. So, uh, right now we are at... It's looking for 4D, right? Yeah, and 4D, which is M. And that means the next character we're looking at is 65. So I press R. Um, step. Yeah, there it is. R1, 65. So we missed it. But if I drop the gun again...
thing is, how do I how do I keep running? Oh, freaking crap. Uh, R is how you run again. Yeah, but it's it's still checking for stuff. I don't even know. Twelve is um rifle. Wait, do we need to be here? Is this where we want to be? Yes, yeah. because the next one should be thirteen then. Presumably, yes. So, so R or S? Step. 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 Okay. Um, F E. That's comparing for a uh, new line. Oh my goodness! I, I honestly need this thing to be like twice as big because I'm like struggling. I have really good eyesight, and this is difficult on this screen. So we're waiting for the opportunity to see what happens right before it turns into 13, I guess. And luckily we'll have the stream as record. Three. FD, what's, what's FD? That was one of those other codes. Yeah. We're going to hit the uh, false branch here. What now? Just keep going. All right. FC. Uh, that's... I don't recognize FC. I think FC was a character, wasn't it? Or no, it's a control code. Uh, no. FA. FC. Is FC not in the, uh, the list? FC was unknown in my character table, but I believe... Uh, you, uh, let's see, Baroque. Uh, let me see. Because I have a link somewhere, I believe, to your table, which is probably more up to date. Not in this folder, but in Google Sheet. Okay, free, open up Google Drive then. Did we gain and lose somebody? What? I heard the uh, pop and drop out sound on Discord. Oh, uh, no, no, no. At least I didn't hear it. But... So, FC, according to your table, does not exist. So, it's some sort of control character. Um, so, I guess we, we keep stepping. Yep. yep. Look at R3, which is R8. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and you're on a delay, too. That's not going to help. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then uh, R8 into R2, and R2 is F8. F8 is a control character, or it's a it's an initiator, at least. Uh, 10... And then FC is some sort of control thing. And then R1 and R2. R1 is F8. And R2 is... Well, it's going to change there, isn't it? Don't know what this is. R8 and R0. So now we are moving R3 into R4. R3 is 12. R4 is blank. And we're still looking at 12 for the rifle. Right, we're still waiting for 13 to pop up for the coat. Yeah. Time now. Eight into one. Um, that's a value of whatever is stored at that place into one, and one is already a, okay. One hundred four. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, my eyes are starting to play tricks on me from these tiny freaking characters. Uh, no. Well, the stored in a lot of places right now. I don't know what that's about. All right, so right now it looks like we're pulling the font data. Okay. So it's like gonna the take a glyph graphic. I think that's where we're at. We're drawing the. Uh... Rifle the, the, right now. the rifle. Uh, so we're drawing the the rifle um, sprite, basically, or the font tile. Right. Okay. 
I don't know what to skip over. Well, if we start skipping, we might end up losing it. Because we are exactly at 12, but it might take several commands before we get to... I don't think this game was highly optimized. <laughs> oh, okay, it just wiped it. So, clean slate. Um, so maybe the next character... But here's the thing. No, 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 no. Because, uh, remember, when I... No, I wrote FF, so that's not that... Uh, yeah, right now our 12 is probably on the stack. Does this thing show a stack, or is it... Uh, I, I wouldn't anything. even know where to look. I'm just looking through all these random numbers here to see if uh, they show a stack as well, but I'm not seeing anything on screen. Yeah, just, just my quick glance over, I don't see 12 anywhere on these numbers. But presumably, at some point, we will read in the address for the next character that's supposed to be printed. Which should be... Uh... 13. Come back in, join the party. I mean, maybe I can, um, I can share my screen on, um, on this thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's safe. If you just, like, arrow key down to the return... This is just drawing crap. We could probably skip looking Here. through each pixel. So now you should have a, a closer to real time view of the men defend capture. Nope, don't click that one. I don't know what C is, but it's not anything I recognize. F? So these are just small numbers now, so we're just doing some sort of weird background yeah. manipulation. You're just drawing pixels. That's all you're doing right now. All right. I mean, it's it's only like a 16 by 16 uh, tile, according to the game. Most of what is blank, thanks to me. So I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of zeros. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you should basically have a live view of what I'm doing, so just tell me to stop. But, I mean, we gotta get to the return, so... There's nothing at this point that's going to affect the, uh... Coat graphic. I can't imagine actually making an entire game out of assembly. This right, is so just... R, R1 looks like it's our uh, decrementer. Uh, so it's it's at 6,000 right now. We're well, not 6,000. Uh, 6 it, it times... Just, just keep moving. You'll see it drop. But what's what's uh, 6 times... Uh, was it 60... Uh, no. Crap, I forget. I forget how to count in, in hex. What's the fourth digit in hex? I don't know what you're asking right now. So in hex, when you have uh, four four digits, right? Uh, you The first one is one, the second one is 16s, the third one is 16 squared, and the fourth one is 16 to the fourth, or th to the third. So six times 16 to the third is, is what we're incrementing by right now. Somewhere in memory, I guess. No, 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 you're just using it. You'll see the increment after you, we get to the bottom here. Or okay. decrement, it, it actually is. Now it's gone? Just keep going. I'm going it's all now. shifted around. It's doing 3C and F, but it's traveling left. I'm sure that has something to do with screen spacing. And we're about to hit the end of it, I think. Yep. Yeah, 
There's C. Okay, now we're back to zero. So I think we've stopped whatever we just were doing. We're on the way to stopping. Now R1 is loaded with the number one, two, seven. Is this what you do all day? No. Uh, like I said, if I were you, I would just take the arrow keys, press down to the return, and hit space. Everything that's in here is worthless to us. Okay, so so what what exactly do I press? Because I literally have no idea what I'm doing. On the arrow key, press down. Down? Keep going down until you hit the RTS. RTS. Okay, is that going to be the uh, the command? Yeah, that's the return. Up, 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 up. Yep. Okay. Space. Space. Now run it. Okay. Yay, we drew the graphic now. Now we can continue stepping again. Step. Step. Step again. Now we're back up where we need to be. Okay, but it is loading uh, 8 0 into graphics. Or is that B? Okay, real quick. If it's B0, then we just. No, 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 because. Before, it should have been B0, but it wasn't. Right so now, what we're going to do, we're going to take the address that's located at R8 and load it into R2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Still using my magical thinking. All right, so nothing yet. But presumably it would be running under the same subroutine, so shouldn't we be able to recognize it based off of some stack uh, address from when we found it the first time? We haven't found 13 yet. No, not 13. The, the subroutine that draws or determines what to draw. I mean, yes, we could redetermine it, but we don't need that one. It, it's like a couple of commands up, whatever that six zero seven three four one was. We're going through all this work, and it's literally right, the first one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, what is uh, 0201? Zero right. 02. What? Um, uh, step two more times. Are, one in here. Are we back to drawing something now? I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. Do we, like, miss our, our exit? I don't think so, but I don't know what it's doing right now. But we definitely didn't hit a 13. We did not, but uh, we, we were at 12 right, before, R6, right? Six, four. So it's got to be doing something weird here. Because I thought we were at uh, M. Oh, I wonder if this is reading our bullets. The bullets would be B B zero last time, but now it would be. Uh, I mean the count. The count of we start with five bullets, right? Yeah, and I haven't shot this and one I'm yet, gonna... so it'd still be five. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at R four. R four says five. Well, what do you know? But then it would, it should look for the character for five, but the original character for five was like a. Two plus five. No, so like a, a seven or something like that. A something. We, we might be in V blank or something. Shit. I mean, <laughs> if we're in V blank, well, no, but it's it's gonna draw everything within one V blank. It's it's not flickering or anything like that. If it if it hasn't finished drawing all the characters, we haven't hit V blank yet. 
It's not going to be blank in the middle of this thing, is it? It's not running at... Yeah. You're interrupting fire any time. Okay, yeah, but like... What's, what's the frame rate this game is running at? I don't know. Right, R3, R4, so 9, 5, like... It's arbitrary. Well, we're about to return somewhere. I mean, what we can do is we can, um... Take all the breakpoints away, except for the one that writes that 5 into R4. Shoot the gun, see if it turns down to 4. It's not going to tell us exactly what we need, but it'll give us an indication of what's going on, maybe. But we don't know how that got filled. We passed it. Yeah. And we still haven't found 13 yet. Alright, so we're back in the sevens. So, let's see what this does. Three, what do you mean? One, this? Uh, 0607. We're in the 7,000 okay, or 70,000 sure. range. So we're checking if that's zero. Okay, we just filled up uh, our one. So that's a negative one. Is that that's going to be like a, a comparator, something to? Oh, what's our code? What? Um, what's after twelve? Was it zero? Or was it FF? Uh, what are you talking about? In the oh. item MSP spot. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, uh, 12 is FF. And what is that? 1C967? Uh, the, the, the address that we found, it was 1C964. But, uh, the offset for this FF is 1C967. Alright, so, so that can't be it. I don't know what the hell R7 pulled in. Alright. Keep stepping? Yep. Alright. Because we're checking a word right now. At the very least, we can go back over the stream with a fine tooth comb. Just upload it or something, you know? There's five, again, in R1, after we, I guess we took the, the, the value of the memory address of R1 and wrote it back into R1. Alright, so that's just stack. Five now we're at nine, which is meaningless to me. All right, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Okay. C nine eight six. What's that? C in LW RAM. Um, nine eight six nine eight six. One C nine eight six is thirteen. What the? What is that doing there? So that's. That's God who we're reading. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I um, I remember something. So there is uh, between segments there was occasionally just these um, lone characters. Uh, the segment would look like this, but it would have the... Th there, here's 13 for Beast Coat. Um, let me see. 12 for Angel Gun. Gun with blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, here you go. Right after Angel Gun. FF, 13, FF. Are, are you looking at stream? 
Yeah. Yeah. Right here. I put this in here because uh, I think there is some symbol here that said coat, and I interpreted that as okay, we'll put the symbol for coat here. But maybe I read that wrong, and this is actually the symbol for shove that thing there, but. Um, Go back to the original file, because if it's FF, then this is a code. No, FF is is, is line end. Uh, all these... Okay, you're right. You're right. It's not reading FF as a word. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if let's let's start it. The 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 offset is 986. Okay. So let me go into my unpatched files. And where is Etim? Item. Okay. And the offset I'm looking for is 986. 986, 986, 986, 986. Here. So 986 was originally B0FC. That's not. not. <laughs> what? 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 Oh my god. Then what? How did I. What was my decision making process for doing this? Okay, FC is obviously a control character to insert a number. Now, I have inserted the numbers back to where they were, so that should not be an issue. Uh, and then B0... You know what? Let me just... I'm upset because we wasted all this time trying to trace... Uh, no, okay. Not control... How do you paste the insert? Control V. No, no, no. Control B. There we go. So now we're back to the original B0 FC, right? And that should write the uh, X that I put in the B0 location. And FC should grab a number and then grab the number from the, the number location, which have been reinserted to their original positions uh, redundantly, so that we should be able to see the X5. Right. right. Okay. Uh, are we comfortable with shutting down men defense so we can test this theory? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, uh, chat, that we just broke at like 0607372 or whatever, in case we need to get back here. 73, what is it? 772? I'll, I'll write it in chat. 0607372. Oh, okay. Well, what do you know? Okay, so <laughs> we might have wasted a little bit of time here. I am super upset that whatever caused me to make that decision has done this. I have no idea what I was thinking. I don't know why B0F... You know what? Let's, um... What, what's the offset there? Maybe I can blame this on you. The offset is 986. Okay. So, for the translated files... Baroque Converter... Um... Uh, Item.English... Or let's just do item.txt or item.english when 0986, right? Is that what we're looking at? So this is what I uh oh crap. Here's what happened. I saw this. And I put it here. I saw the <laughs> coat at 989, and I put it at 986 because I have some weird form of dyslexia or something. I don't know. But that's what happened. So it's still my fault. It's okay, uh, at least we trace it down, so we're good. Learning experiences. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I already fixed the font preemptively. Item gets replaced. Overwrite the single bin. I like how we spent like an hour and a half showcasing the half work that I've done so far and then <laughs> tracking down this freaking thing. This is a great first exposure for Pup. I dragged Pup out of here from freaking Twitter to see me fail at translating her game. Well, not her game, but the game that she, uh, she brought it up. I thought I would have something more to show for it tonight. Yo.
I should probably learn what a save state is in Mendefend so I can use it, because I keep doing the same thing. You mean the keys? Yeah. F5. And then load is F9. F7. F7. Oh, okay, whatever. And then the number keys uh, specify what state you want. So you press 1, F5, that saves the slot 1. Okay, let's pause the music for a minute. And, uh... Come on, let's go. F5. F7. 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 Okay, neat. Probably should have utilized that a little bit more so I can skip all this crap. Well, if you're, uh... rehashing the ISO, it might not work. I don't think you guys can hear the clapping through NVIDIA voice, but it is happening. Okay. That problem has been solved. Um, I'm afraid to make any additional changes to Angel Gun. You know what? I want to end the, the night on a high note. I've already been streaming this for like almost two hours. So uh, let's just play a little bit of this game and I'll just call it a night. Because the rest of the evening was literally just going to be me typing stuff into uh, HXD. And I don't know if anyone just wants to watch me do that the whole rest of the evening. Because I think I, I got a handle on, on a text replacement. Unless, uh, Knight, do you have any ideas of something else now that you're here and able to help that, uh, you think you might be, uh, worth looking into? Um, what do you mean? I don't know, like, uh... I mean, a lot of the stuff just seems to be me filling stuff in, I think, so I can't think of anything that would be like, you know, now that you're here, help me do this thing. I mean, the other thing that I could maybe do is help you navigate the story text, but I don't think I'll do that today. Uh, no, because there's like 40 pages of it, and literally all I have to do is just rewrite it so that it fits in the character count. And the whole point of Bastard Baroque is that it's going to be barely legible. Uh, so I think what me means in this case is naked, as in no armor. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if I do this, um, uh, no, wait, it's not doing. So I, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Okay, so real quick, let me go over HXD, look up what, uh, the value for me. Oh man, damn Thrax, did you sit through all that? Oh wow. I am not that entertaining, Dan. You, you, you're, you can... <laughs> there we go. You could have done a lot more useful things with your time. Well, I guess now that you're done with Bulk Slash, I don't know what you're working on anymore. Okay, so uh, offset 576 uh, in item. So let's go see what uh, 576 in item in your converters translated to end line well that's helpful wait i think we're looking at this the wrong way didn't you just go to a hex address nice. there you can look so at the this, actual value uh so the original no, the, 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 it used to be two characters in japanese it was these two characters if we go over to the google translates and we ask it what it I says it, it says myself So I translated that as me. But when I actually play the game, me just says status normal and minus one. What does uh, uh, Deep Bell say? Deep it might just be your status. I mean, is it something you press on or something? Uh, no, you, it's, it's on the menu. Like, I scroll through the menu, and then when I roll over at the bottom, is always me. 
Status, normal. Okay, I get that. The minus one, I understand the one because I put that there. I don't understand the minus because the minus is not in the same location it was before. All right, hit up. Up, okay, up. Something completely different. Yeah, so I think that's just telling you the status of yourself. If you're sick or not, if you're poisoned, if uh, you're cursed. I don't know what this game does to you. I think it's just telling you what your personal ailments are. Yeah, that that I get with the ST colon norm. Because that that's what sense. me means, or myself. Yeah. yeah, but the minus one is what confuses me. Also, the fact that the vitality, oh. okay. the vitality code looks like def two u one. Def two u one. What did I mean by that? Vita. Vital coat. Uh, it's the text here says VT max plus twenty five, and then nothing after that. So VT max plus twenty five is what I translated. Def two U one. Oh, mm, that's game generated. Okay, so defense. Two, defense is my own translation of the Japanese for defense. The two is the number two. U, I believe, was my replacement for the up symbol, which maybe I need to go back and add to the font sheet and revert. Uh, because U uh, was a single character for the up arrow. Like you see on the, the fence right there on my status screen, uh, 12 slash 12 up three. Right, right. Which which is what this is doing. And then one, I believe, is the delta based off of something. Yeah, I don't know. The coat gives you a plus one. Yeah. But it's kind of weird because I already have it equipped, but whatever. The minus symbol is what throws me off. So, let us uh, play the untranslated version and see what me looks like. And that will be my last mystery for the night, because two hours is plenty to stream before I start just copying and pasting text, which no one wants to see. Uh, so, Knight, if you can magically figure out how to replace that title screen for the, uh, you know, protection against certain undesirable elements, then we can uh, try to release Bastard Baroque onto Sega Extreme as soon as that is done, because I think by the time you figure that out, I will have figured out how to uh, insert the rest of the text because I'll just poop socket this weekend. Yep. yep. Uh, that's actually what I was working on right now while watching this. Oh, okay. I mean, I thought you were babysitting me, but I guess if, if you put SpongeBob on the TV, uh, you know, you can end up being very productive babysitting. Me. Still minus one. But it's a different minus. Did I just get lucky with the minus placement? No, we're in the old game. This is old font. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. In the new font, it's minus one, but it's a different hyphen. So there's two okay. possibilities. The first but one I see, I see is... Yeah. The first one is uh, there is literally a hyphen character in one of the MSBs that I replaced because it made too much sense not to. And the second one is the font location for one of the many hyphens in this font sheet. Uh, overlaps with the one I'm used to. So, uh, this one's easy to, to verify. We will go and see what the ASCII is for hyphen, and I believe it is this guy right over here who is line 2FED. So that is 2D. Alright, and where's the other one? There we go. 2D. Mm, nope, some Japanese crap. So uh, I think what I did is I just translated the minus sign. But in the original game, there's a minus there. So I mean, okay, fine, I translated it right. Good, good for me. That was the last mystery of the night. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Uh, thank you, Knight, for showing up and babysitting me and pretending I'm a real adult here. Uh, thank you, everyone. For... What? I said, yeah, we got through it. Yeah, we got through it. Uh, thank you, Danthrax, for humoring us and managing to sit through all that crap. Thank you, Pup, for actually showing up, even though I just, like, randomly added you at Twitter for no good reason, uh, if you're still here. 
thank you everyone else for showing up and for everyone at YouTube, good night.